Hello folks, welcome again! This is kind of a little bit of a special video. Because it's time for some predictions! There is so much wrestling going on this week. Well, at least this weekend. Saturday we have TakeOver Toronto. Then, whoa, what the heck was that? Oh, an Allen wrench. I'm like, geez, that just sounded terrible though. Freaking the Hobo Studios falling apart. You go in there. Maybe it wasn't there. I don't know. I'll find that stupid flash drive somewhere. But enough about my issues, though. So again, just like I said, there's so much wrestling going on. On Saturday night, I'm not going out, I think. You never know sometimes. But this guy, Hobo Tom. Again, if you'd like to be the next girlfriend, well, there will be an ex-girlfriend. I just have to figure out who. You can always shoot me an email or leave a comment and say, hey, I'm a single gal in the Florida area. Yeah, that would probably work. But I'm not here to talk about my dating issues. I'm here to talk about some pro wrestling predictions. It's a little bit late. And school started, so Dr. Tom was not available. So it's I, the one, the only hobo Tom, is going to take control of the prediction. Um, but first, before I do that, I finally, finally get to finish up my list of shoutouts because I added one today, and I think I have plenty. So I'm trying to do this in a little dirt, different little. Oh, ooh, gave that away. Different order. Only said only <laughs> so that it seems original. So again, if I do mess up your names, I do thoroughly apologize. And you can kind of see my handwriting's terrible as is. And then when kind of iced tea stains get on things, it's a mess. And of course, my handwriting, after a couple of col colitas, coloritas, colorita, cha cha cha. So, Jose L. Aguirre, you always seem to win, sir. Those victories come by a dirty pin. A wolfo, Yun. You, sir, are a member of the El Generico Band. Eduardo Gonzalez. I think I pronounced that right. Yeah, if not, it's close enough. Or, yeah, Eduardo. Or, yeah, E. Gonzalez. Sorry about that. I think goofed up a couple things, but that's okay. Sir, it doesn't matter. Because you're like this to the B brief Lesnar. The AO Fox eight five eight. Sir, when you sit down, you take a holy sit.
El Alexica Asterix Taruko Asterix Sir, you definitely know how to play those air drums and air guitar. Ronaldo Casillas. I think I said that right. You, sir, you get down and boogie to the fact that Jordan has back. Oh, my God. Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Franny204, you are a six count away from winning.
No all music. You, sir, for some reason, are having a luchador on a forklift match. And the most recent entry into all the comments. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, Sammy, ole. Sir, you just told Nikki to take it all off. And wow, it took me three days, but I managed to get all my shoutouts in, just like I promise everyone, because I do that for free. I don't know what I'm going to do if I have to get monetized. I'd probably do the same thing. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully one day. Let's see. So let me go in my notes. And this is a special video. This is a predictions video. Again, it's the beginning of the school year for Dr. Tom. He's off busy doing professorial stuff. So instead, you're just left with the one, the only Hobo Tom here in the Hobo Studio, because I know he does not like coming into the Hobo Studio anyway. Let's start the show off. So what we have, first thing is we have NXT TakeOver. And the matches, I guess, are going to start off. And again, as always, I always have some qualifiers. What the heck did I just do? Oh, there we go. I just want to have that there so I can see it. And see everyone out there in the YouTube universe as well. Probably start off with Candice LeRae versus Io Shirai. It's so hard to guess the Stone Cold lock for NXT matches because... I have no idea. I don't keep up with NXT that much, and this has been a weird week for me. So I say only because I think she needs it the most. And the past history of NXT dropping out people. Oh, my princess, Kimberly. Um, Io Shirai is going to defeat Candice LeRae. I'll give this my stone cold lock of the night. Then we have Shayna Baszler taking on Mia Yim for the NXT Women's Championship. I don't think they've built this up long enough. I know it probably has been going on for a while. I just can't see what Shayna would do without the title, though. It never makes sense for a heel to chase the title. 
unless she was to come up to the main roster, then her two buddies, Jasmine Dukes and Boo, uh, well, they're not that great wrestling, and Marina Shapiro, who should be a lot better, I think. Like, I want to say she's married to Roderick Strong. She should, like, know stuff. But, um, so, yeah, so Shannon Baszler takes on Mia Yim. Shannon Baszler's going to retain her belt. No other reason than I don't know what else she would do. Then, which is going to be a truly amazing match, we have the Velveteen Dream versus Peter Dunn versus... An undisputed era for life member Roderick Strong. He's going to bring home the United States Championship. And this, folks, is guaranteed to be the match of the night. Then uh, tag, for the Tag Team Championships, we have the Street Profits. The un, un, Undisputed Era. For life, members of the infamous Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. So, well, I probably said that this is Street Profits versus I gave the Undisputed Era such a long intro. It's been just a long day. I forgot, I forgot if I said Street Profits. But Street Profits versus Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish of the Undisputed Era. I have tag belts changing hands. I have the Undisputed Era defeating the Street Profits. Because I think the Street Profits are going to be featured more on WWE main roster-ish. For now. We'll see though. I could be wrong. And then I know I have to give this. Out somewhere. But. Wait for it. Wait for it. Adam Cole baby. Boom. Takes on. Johnny Wrestling. Or Johnny Wrestling Gargano for the NXT Championship belt. Adam Cole, baby, is going to be victorious. I think it's a two out of three falls match. I know they were supposed to like choose a stipulation. Vigo came and said, no, it's going to be two out of three falls. Unfortunately, I have this as my snooze of the night. And that's only because of the fact that the last time they had a two out of three falls match, it was good. Just not very believable. Especially when Johnny Wrestling decides to kick out of every finisher that Adam Cole has. You're like, I know it's pro wrestling, the theater of the absurd, but you have to add some fact of believability to it. Whereas if you get kicked in the head and dropped on your head, that should be nap time. So that's NXT TakeOver Toronto. Um, I will be doing, again, I should be doing, unless I get changed messages on, on this, this, I think people call it cell phone. I don't know. I just call it a phone with text messaging abilities. Oh, I have to look that up too. Um, this is going to be Saturday, I think 7 o'clock. So yeah, I'll be home from the gym by then. I have a very simple non-breaded chicken parmesan with tortellini and a mushroom and pepper sauce. I think because I put out a question which I eat to a woman friend, yeah, I'll let her decide when she's a girlfriend. Always let the woman decide. 
So what should I have? Frito burritos, um, chicken parmesan tortellini, double cheeseburgers, or salmon burgers with fries. And she said chicken parm, and that's good because I have to use that, that huge piece of chicken up. And this way I can still go to church. For my immortal soul. I can throw that out now too. And yeah, go to the gym because I can go to work, church, gym. At least I could cook probably during the Candice Lorraine match. Ooh, I wish I lived by the river. I wish. Along the river. But I'm close enough. Smiley face. Oh, I want smiley face. There we go. Yep. And then so let's take a break. And now let's talk about SummerSlam, folks. And SummerSlam, again, the card is always subject to change. I looked it up here on Wednesday afternoon. I know I'm making this video at night, but that's okay. Um, so SummerSlam, I think last big four pay-per-view they had, they like added in two more matches. So we'll see if anything is left here. That's good. So again, this card subject change. I'll figure stuff out later. Um, on the pre-show, as always, the cruiserweights are always dominantly featured on the on the pre-show. It's going to be Drew Gulak taking on Oni Lorcan. I say Oni Lorcan is going to win. Um, this he's probably a great foil to Drew Gulak, and I think just the dynamic that they have together. Will prove to be a little bit too much. I have to do that tonight too. While I do that, because I have to catch up on my wrestling. I haven't. It's been like work, nap, gym, sleep, work, nap, gym, sleep for the past three days. So I have to get stuff done. Then Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I think I actually relaxed for a change. Oh, and I went to church too. So enough about that. Then the next match we have Trish Stratus versus Charlotte Fla Flair. Oh wow, Charlotte Flair. I don't know what it's been with her recently, but she seems checked out. They're gonna have Trish Stratus the ring the win, only because she's only because they're in Canada and they want to have give the crowd some kind of feel good fuzzy moment. Because this is minus a few matches, it's not a feel good fuzzy card. But this is going to be my snooze of the night. And the only reason the next match is not the snooze of the night because the next match is Goldberg versus Dolph Ziggler. This can go one of two ways. Both are not necessary. One is a lot better than one is a lot better than the other. One. Goldberg wins in a squash. A decent squash, about seven minutes. Dolph Ziggler gets in a super kick. Goldberg kicks out at two and a half. Um, Spear, jackhammer. Gold, Dolph Ziggler is small enough, and Goldberg still looks jacked enough to do it. Uh, five to seven minute match. I'd be happy with that. If it goes any longer, it's, it's going to really drag on, and I don't think, based on the. Cloudy show? I forget what it was called now. Whatever the Saudi show was, I don't think that's going to go. They're not going to make Goldberg actually wrestle for like 15, 20 minutes. I say a five to seven minute kind of, for the most part, squash match. Gold, Goldberg wins. Goldberg. Goldberg. The next match um, for the U.S. Championship is going to be AJ Styles. Versus, versus pew pew! 
The one and only. Ooh, this is good. I like this. This has a gimmick build. This has the phenomenal one versus the one and only. That's good marketing, WWE. You did a good job this time. Now, this is going to be the match of the night. But I have AJ Styles retaining his U.S. Championship. The way he and the club are going is fun. It's always it's even more fun to watch Ricochet chase the title. Um, they could have a DQ by having the club get involved. The club on a pay-per-view. That would be good, too. But no, 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 no. I'm going to reserve my bonus for later. Then next, uh, next again, I have no idea to the true order of these. If... Ooh, excuse me. Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt wins. The Fiend wins. This is my stone cold lock of the night. Then we have Kofi Kingston taking on Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. I do like the fact that Kofi holds the belt. But I think he's more interesting when he chases the belt. Chases the belt. So I think Randy Orton is going to win. And, and they keep this going until WrestleMania. That would be fun. So Randy Orton becomes the new WWE Championship. And of course, this would not be a WWE show. Especially one of the big four. Without a McMahon being involved. So we have Kevin Owens taking on Shane McMahon. And if Kevin Owens loses, he gets fired. And I, I quit match, I guess. So Kevin Owens is going to win. I don't see Shane McMahon necessarily winning. Shane could lose by DQ. That would be somewhat interesting. Keep it going for a while. Shane will probably do something crazy. It should be interesting enough, I guess. Um, if they really get rid of Kevin Owens, I don't think he's injured or anything. They just gifted him the center, so I mean he should be he should win. So we'll see what happens with that. The champion. And then I was gonna give this a snooze, but I have a different qualifier for this one. If Becky Lynch versus Natalia to disarm her versus the sharpshooter. I have Becky Lynch winning. But this is my bonus. And the fact that I think they're going to pull a Toronto screw job on Natalia. Very similar. Of course, this time it's not, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a shoot. This will be a work. And it'll be the Toronto screw job. So Natalia can go into infamy and Becky Lynch and can retain her belt. Natalia with the belt. I don't want to see whiny Kmart mom. I want to speak to your manager. Hold the title because Natalia's good. She can do a decent promo. Ah. Uh. Just not feeling it though. So Becky Lynch wins with the added stipulation that this is a Toronto screw job. And then probably in the main event of the night, we have Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. I have Brock Lesnar winning. Seth seems like a nerd. People were cheering for Brock Lesnar to hit him and drop him one more time. Although the people just like 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 Violencia. So you never know. The crowd's weird about that. So very quick recap of that. Um Oni Lorcan wins versus Drew Gulag, Trish Stratish gets her feel good fuzzy moment in Canada over Charlotte Flair. Goldberg squashes Dolph Ziggler. In the match of the night, AJ Styles defeats Ricochet. Bray Wyatt, the fiend. Defeats Finn Balor. Finn goes away for a while. Hopefully he comes back to the club. 
Uh, Randy Orton wins to keep Kofi chasing the belt. Becky Lynch retains in the Toronto Screwjob, and Brock Lesnar gives one more time the F5 to Seth Rollins. You know, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, if you like your own video, you can always like. I don't know if you can like. You can publicly subscribe, like, share. You don't get videos. Leave a comment or send an email. Oh, that's the other thing I have to do too. Go check that. And thank you, everyone. Bye.